بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 1 listen to the present verb be the learning objectives dear students by the end of this lesson you will be able to identify the forms of verb be use verb be in affirmative and negative statements use verb be in yes no questions and wh questions the present of verb be affirmative statements and contractions use the verb am with the personal pronoun i so with the personal pronoun i we use the verb am i am examples i am a student i am a student the contracted form i'm a student i'm a student so notice here that with the pronoun i we use the verb am use is with the personal pronouns he she it or with the singular form of nouns the singular form of nouns for example Ali Fatima school etc examples he is at school so notice here that with the pronoun he we use the verb is the contracted form he's at school he's at school now notice that instead of the pronoun he we can use a singular noun for example we can say Ali is at school so we use the verb is either with a pronoun or a singular noun she is sick she is sick so again with the pronoun she we use the verb is the contracted form she's sick she's sick also we can use a singular noun here we can say Fatima is sick Fatima is sick, so we can use either a pronoun or a noun. It is hot and humid. It is hot and humid. Notice that with the pronoun it, we use also is. It is hot and humid. The contracted form, it's hot and humid. It's hot and humid. Here also, we can use a singular noun instead of it. We can say the school is big use are with the personal pronouns you we they or with the plural form of nouns for example students people uh, schools cars etc examples you are late notice here that with the pronoun you we use the verb are you are late the contracted form you're late you're late we are teachers notice here also that we use are with the pronoun we we are teachers or we can say we're teachers this is the contracted form we're teachers they are at the library they are at the library again with the pronoun they we use the verb are they are at the library or the contracted form they're at the library they're at the library notice here we can also use a plural form of nouns so we can say the students this is a plural noun the students are at the library the present of verb be negative statements and contractions now we are going to move to the negative form of the verb use am not use am not so here we need to add the word not with the personal pronoun i so when we want to use the negative form we say i am not i am not example I am not 
a student I am not a student this is the negative form the affirmative form is I am a student but the negative form is I am not a student the contracted form I'm not a student notice here that the am the verb am is not contracted with the word not so we cannot say I meant this is wrong okay am and not cannot be contracted cannot be contracted use is not with the personal pronouns he she it so with he or she it we use is not or with singular form of nouns examples he is not at school the contract form he isn't at school so is not can be contracted okay can be contracted so we can say isn't she is not sick she is not sick or we can say she isn't sick she isn't sick it is not hot and humid the contracted form it isn't hot and humid use are not with the personal pronouns you we or they so with these pronouns we use are not or with the plural form of nouns examples you are not late so we use the word not after the verb are you are not late or the contracted form you aren't late you aren't late we are not teachers we are not teachers the contracted form we aren't teachers aren't teachers they are not at the library are not at the library the contracted form aren't they aren't at the library so notice here that we add the word not after the verb am is are okay so we use the word not after the verb am is are the present of verb be yes no questions begin your question with am with the personal pronoun i so we want to make a yes no question we start with the verb am i and we put a question mark at the end of your question examples am i a student am i a student notice here that we start the question with the verb okay with the verb the answer could be either yes you are or no you are not begin your yes no question with is with the personal pronouns he or she or at or with the singular form of nouns examples is he at school so notice here that the question starts with the verb is is he at school the answer could be yes he is or no he isn't now notice that instead of he we can use a singular noun for example can we can say is Ali at school is Ali at school so we can say is he at school or we can say is Ali at school the answer is yes he is or no he is not is she busy is she busy again with the pronoun she we also start the question with is is she busy the answer could be yes she is or no she is not again instead of she we can say for example Huda or Layla or Fatima or any singular now is it hot and humid is it hot and humid notice that the question starts with is is it hot and humid the answer yes it is or no it is not begin your yes no question with are with the personal pronouns you we they or the plural form of nouns so with you we or they or any plural nouns we start the question with the verb are example are you a doctor so here the question starts with the verb are because of the subject the subject here is you are you a doctor the answer 
could be yes i am or no i am not are you a doctor yes i am or no i am not are we late notice here we also start the question with the verb are because the subject here is we okay are we late yes you are or no you are not are they at the library again we start the question with are because the subject here is a plural they are they at the library yes they are or no they are not notice here also we can use a noun instead of the pronoun we can say are the students for example at the library question mark the answer could be yes they are or no they aren't so after the verb are we need to use either okay they or a plural noun a plural noun so again we start the yes no question with any form of verb be so we can say am or is or are then we need the subject the pronoun okay the pronoun for example it could be i or he or she etc then we complete our question at the end we use a question mark the present of verb be wh questions begin your wh question with a question word for example what where when who why how what time etc then use the same word order the same word order as in yes no question now by the same word order we mean use the verb am is are plus the subject okay plus the subject now here the subject could be either a pronoun okay either a pronoun or a noun or a noun a pronoun it could be for example he she you etc a noun could be for example ali okay huda students etc examples why am i here notice here that we start the question with a question word then we put the verb okay after that we use a pronoun okay a question word plus a verb plus a pronoun a pronoun a subject why am i here the answer could be because we need to talk to you another example where is he where is he now notice here we start the question with a question word verb be the pronoun he where is he now so this is the order again wh word verb the subject the pronoun he where is he now he is at school another example why is she absent why is she absent because she's sick again we start the question with a question word why verb is a pronoun or a subject she why is she absent because she is sick another example what is it what is it a question word is it verb and a subject it's a notebook how are you how are you again a question word a verb a subject pronoun i'm fine where are we where a question word are a verb we a pronoun where are we we are lost who are they who are they again a question word a verb they the pronoun again question word verb pronoun they are my cousins notice here that the word order is very important in wh question 
start your question with the wh word okay we start with the wh word okay then we put a verb okay we need a verb then we need a subject okay then we complete our question so we need a wh word like what where when who why how then you need a verb a verb like am or is or are then you need a subject the subject could be he she you or a noun students etc so pay attention to the word order in questions in yes no question we start with the verb plus the subject then complete your questions in wh questions we start with the wh word plus the verb plus the subject then complete your questions thank you for listening